Follow the farmer. You can do it. Okay, I'll be first. I'm not scared. Oh, maybe it is safe. <laughs> <Whee! laughs> All right now, babies, you need to follow your moms. Look at that, Mama. <laughs> Cautious. Yay. Everybody's in. This lot doesn't look amazing, but it's got a lot of clover and a lot of vetch, which isn't bad. It's okay. They look pretty happy for now. <laughs> Bonnie, are you pretty happy too? Yeah? It's payday again. He just went and got this load. I've been at home helping the kids get their homeschool going. <laughs> They're having to do a lot of these Zoom meetings. This is online meeting platform for their homeschool co-op classes. So um, it's been good, but just trying to learn learn that and teach them how to get on by themselves while I'm doing this, hoping that works. It's just busy, y'all. It's really busy. We're busy. Yeah, but happy to be busy. Happy to be able to keep doing what we do. And it's supposed to rain today. Yay. <laughs> Okay, we are homeschooling away this morning, rocking and rolling, but it's uh, 11 o'clock and per usual, I haven't eaten anything yet because I just don't start the day off eating typically. I, I drink a liquid breakfast consisting of very strong black coffee to the extent of, I don't know, two or three cups. Anyway, please don't hold that against me. 
Um, but I wanted to tell you or show you something that I make on the regular that's delicious and easy. One little package of instant grits, some shredded cheese, a fried egg or scrambled or whatever, however you like your egg, some real bacon bits, and musket powder. Yes. Someone asked me if musket powder was good on eggs. Yes. It's basically good on everything. So, there you go. If you've never made such, you really should. Try it. And remember, you can get 10% off of this when you use code TFW at musketpowder.com. I promise you, if you try this stuff, you will love it. And if you don't, I, there's no help for you. I don't know. We just don't have the same taste buds. <laughs> All right. Back to schooling. And sometimes we do school like this, don't we? Sometimes. Because we can. Because we can, right? <laughs> and it's a little cool, so back to bed. Where we can snuggle up and do school math. Common sense math, not common core math. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Hey, y'all. Um... I feel kind of like lately there's this big elephant in the room and the elephant is what's going on in the world right now. And I also feel like the last couple of days that the elephant has just kind of sat on me <laughs> and I've just felt a lot of feelings and honestly, it just feels like everything's kind of settling. And the reality of, of what is, is really coming more into focus, even though there's still a lot of questions about exactly what is, or more so what will be, I guess. And I never want this channel to be anything but encouraging, but I also want to keep it real. And right now my reel is a little bit in turmoil. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm very concerned for a lot of people concerned and very thankful for, um, all of our medical professionals out there working day in and day out, risking not only their lives, but the lives of the people, their family that they have to go home to, if they even get to go home. Um, if you are a medical professional, thank you. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for what you do. Thank you. Thank you to all people out there that are keeping us uh that are keeping things moving, truck drivers, thank you. I know I've got a lot of y'all that watch my channel. Thank you, stay safe. Um, all EMT and medical professionals, firefighters, um, EMS crews, all of you, postal workers, restaurant people that are, um, you know, just trying, trying to do what they can to keep things going and keep their families fed and, single parents and just all the people, all the people that are struggling right now. And in a lot of ways, I feel like everybody is, whether it's financially or mentally, I worry about the mental stability, the mental health of a lot of people, especially farmers. I'm gravely concerned for a lot of my farming friends, especially dairy farming friends, and I have several that are facing very, very dire circumstances and markets crashing. I'm worried about our own, I'm worried about the beef market. I'm worried about ranchers and I'm worried about our own calf crop and, you know, potentially having to basically give them away when it's time to sell. I don't know. There's just a lot of, there's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of fear. There is fear. I have my own fears. Um, I do believe this too shall pass. I know it will. It will pass. <laughs> I do also tend to lay awake at night lately and think about the good that's coming from this because I do think there is good. I think there's always good. 
I think um, there's always good that can and does come from bad. People are spending more times with their more time with their family. People are are unplugging more. They're 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 being still more because they're being made to be still and stay home. And um, I think a time like this can really help us to realize all the things that we probably take for granted on a daily basis. And I hope when this thing is over, when, because it will be, that we can take the good from it and we can keep that going. And we can take that gratitude um, for the small things and the people in our lives and the people that affect our lives that we may never meet, that we could take them and uh, that we could just we could stop taking that for granted and them for granted and um, just really come together on a different level than we have in the past. I'm very proud. I'm proud of our country. I'm proud of our people. I'm proud of the way we face adversity and the way we come together. For the most part, the way we come together, and the way we are coming together, even though we're being forced to be apart. There's good in that. So, Anyway, I just want to throw that out there. I've talked for too long now, but um, just know you're not alone. You're not alone if you're, you know, feeling all these feelings too, which I, I can't help but think that most of us are on some level or another. You're never alone. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep doing our thing here. Of course, I'm thankful to live on this farm. I'm thankful that we have this land and we have this, this job that we get to still do. And um I know that puts us in a different category than a lot of people, and I don't take that for granted. I'm very thankful and uh, appreciative for what we have and what we get to do and the fact that I get to share it with you, and I hope I continue to be able to do that. So thank you for being here. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Praying for you. Praying for us all. We will make it through this together. We're better together. We really are better together. So, all right. I'm going to go pull some weeds now. Weed therapy. Not that kind of weed. Weeds. Like weeds. Weed therapy. And I have a little truck companion here who evidently has rolled in some pretty rank manure. Because that's all I can smell in here. Bonnie, did you do that? Did you do that? Did you roll in manure? Would you do that? That's what I thought. Okay, y'all, when I say I have weeding to do, I'm, I'm not saying that lightly. My hellebore are beautiful, but they are covered in weeds. Mm -hmm. That's definitely not the worst of it, though. Wait for it. This right here is my bed. My big bed that I love. That I did a lot of work to last year. It's nothing. It's nothing but hen bit. And chickweed and I don't know what. Look. A snowball bush is about to bloom. Yeah. Um, the plan was to spray. But I'm scared that I'll spray the plant. So I'm just. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to start pulling some by hand. And see how frustrated I get before I get the spray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my soul, y'all. But this is therapy. This is going to be therapy. You know what? Sun shining. It's cool. It's beautiful. You going to help, Bonnie? Bonnie. Can you help, Mommy? Here for it, Mom. I'm here for it. <laughs> Okay, we're just going to start with this one bed before weeds, weeds everywhere, Bonnie. Weeds, weeds, all of that under there is weeds. <laughs> <laughs> Have four paws. 
Why aren't you using them? Why aren't you digging into the weeds and getting them out for mommy? Hmm. My other girl, my other girl is helping. Good job, Missy. They're pretty out of control, aren't they? <laughs> They're not pretty. They're not pretty, you're right. They're just out of control. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. I won't be getting to the lows to buy any new plants for my pots. Hmm. There are many worse problems. Okay, Bonnie, I appreciate your help. Um, this is about all we're gonna get done today. I need to think about supper. But, I mean, it's it's basically hand-picked. That, look, you can see my river rock. So, when I put this bed in, I got river rock from our stream, from our creek, and hauled load after load after load in the back of the gator. Let me tell you, it was a feat. <laughs> but over time, it's all washed. I mean, it's all under there, but it's under dirt. So, Lawrence told me that would happen, but per usual, I don't really listen to him, and or I just go with it until it, you know, doesn't work anymore. So, anyway, I got these. I'm gonna come back and spray on the edge. I did not cut my liriope back last year. Never do, always forget. But the news coming through, it'll <laughs> it'll cover up the old. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm ready to mow. Maybe later this week. This one is the worst though, this is the worst bed. But I did, I got that out. And I got that little bit. <laughs> y'all, look at these weeds. It's overwhelming just a little bit. But that being said, I was just reflecting when I was in that one little spot there that's done and how good it felt to get that done. And when I was just focused on that, how great, how great that feeling was. And then when I lifted my eyes and started looking around at the rest of the weeds, it got a little overwhelming because I saw how much work still needed to be done. So then I brought my focus back to what I had accomplished <laughs> and I focused on that and the rest will also be accomplished in due time. We just have to focus. We have to focus on what we do have control over, you know? We have to focus on what we have control over and take the rest of it a bite at a time. There seems to be a theme in this vlog today. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. That's right. Okay. We're going to have a gourmet dinner of hot dogs tonight. Hot dogs and slaw. Yeah, I'm making slaw again. <sighs> if I was really ambitious, I would make some chili. But I'm not. I'm not doing that. So, that's the way it goes some days. <laughs> and it's all good. It's all good. All right. We will catch y'all on the flip side. See you soon.